Hey guys, hey Geminis, how are you guys doing out there? It's your girl Twin D. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. Thank you so much for joining the channel, guys. Thank you for joining the camp. Thank you for all your continuous support. Let's jump straight into your message and let's see what's going on with you in regards to love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's see what's going on for you in regards to love. And guys, don't forget to join me tonight. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all my US friends. Big up on yourself. I got the Six of Swords in the reverse. So listen, um, Geminis, don't forget to join me tonight Um, at the, the Twin Flame podcast. If you're a Twin Flame, please join us. We'll be discussing tonight, is the Divine Feminine supposed to wait on the Divine Masculine? 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seeing it's your Thanksgiving, I put on another half an hour so you can um enjoy your time with your family. All right. So, Gemini, you got the Six of Swords here in the reverse. Some of you, there has been, there has been a tower moment in your life. And this could either be with you or your person. Right? So, your person here, Gemini, is going through a tower moment. It's like they are stuck in a situation that they should be moving away from, but it's like they are not moving away. So, hey, God's going to say, okay, you're not moving. I'll move for you. Zoom. <laughs> Some of your divine masculines, whoever they are, they may be leaving home. They may be um, changing location because of this tower moment that they're experiencing. So, whatever this is, it's like it's pushing them away from their comfort zone. Queen of Wands. So yeah, there's definitely a change with your divine masculines or whoever they are. There's definite change. This person has finally found that spark within themselves. This person has finally found self-love. This person is waiting to approach you, two, two, two. They're waiting to approach you. Like I said, this person, has. Uh, it's like they've regained that self-confidence. You have the Queen of Swords. All right, so there were two people involved here. There were two people involved, Gemini. That's why this person couldn't move. That's why they couldn't make a decision. That's why they were being controlled and manipulated because there was somebody else involved. And you always know there's going to be some friends or family members or their own thoughts that's going to tell them all kind of bull crap that they need to do in order to stay. They start whatever, you know, the whole damn story. So there was two persons here that your person had to be choosing from. Okay, thank you. So, Gemini, your person walked away from someone. They walked away from someone. They were hanging on to this person. But this person was also hanging on to them. And it's not because of love. It was because of stability purposes. It was because of um, what they could achieve. What they could receive. Whatever this situation was for them. But it was not love. It wasn't. So now that your person here has figured out true love. And how much they love themselves. That's why they walked away. That's why they're not walking towards your happiness. Your person is in deep regret. Your person misses you. Your person regrets all the, 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 the steps and all the deception, everything that happened from the time you first met up until now. They didn't know what true love is. See that? They didn't know what true love is. Your person was, was operating out of a place of hurt. A place of heartbreak, separations, stabbed in the back energy. You got an ace of swords. So now they have this understanding of, of what true love is. Now this person is going to take some action towards you. And they're taking action towards all these other people too. They're moving away. Because they didn't want to move in the beginning. And that's because there was some manipulation there. But now your person can move along. Because they finally found self-love. This person loved you from a long time ago, but they just couldn't express it to you. 
And one of the reasons is because there was somebody else involved. Let's see how this person is feeling about you or how you are feeling about this person right now. <laughs> you have separation, no communication, no communication, block and silence. So you are in separation from this person. And there's no communication between you and them. So that's why now this person coming back around is going to be a surprise to you. Because this is, see, it's true love. This person truly does love you. Give me one more here, please. This person will return. There you go. Bingo. Bingo. This person will return. And there are two things here with this hierophant. They're coming in for commitment. They will return. They are coming back for commitment. Because they realize they truly love you. And it's like nobody's going to change my mind again. And the second thing. It's because of all these traditional views. Traditional values. Uh, um, people uh, misleading the divine masculines. And of course. Past relationships. There you go. New love coming in new person and changes career moving trip love growth see the, the moving that i was talking about so some of your divine masculines they will be moving they will be taking steps to remove themselves from environment that are not good for them so whoever these people are because this could be your energy gemini when you're moving towards someone or this could be the person that's coming to you all right, what energy could Gemini be dealing with here? What energy could Gemini be dealing with here, please? So Geminis, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Give me one more, please, in regards to this message. Oh, I got more than one for you guys. So you have Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with any one of these people, guys. And you got hit Aries on the bottom. We got some fire signs here. But anyways, Geminis. This person is coming back for you because this person realized that they truly love you. It's like no longer are those things from the past going to stop them. Whether it's their beliefs or how they were taught or what their family members had to say or that toxic relationship they were in. They're breaking free from all of that. They're moving forward and they're coming for the love of their life, their true love. This has been your message, Gemini, and I do hope it helps you all. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. And please join me again for the, um, the, the podcast at... 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time only today because it's Thanksgiving. Every other Thursday, every Thursday, it's going to be at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So set your reminder, guys. Love you all. Let go and let God. See you in the next message. Later.